Tensai Shitara Slime Data Ken Chapter 134 Yuki and Leon's battle begins. The sky flashed, the ground was blown away. Even Chloe who hadn't moved at all was hit with the aftershocks of the shock. Kigali was hiding behind Chloe but still had to pull her head back, her eyes terrified. Wait, wait, what the hell is it? It was a super fast battle, too fast for Kigali to realize. She could only see its tracks. Which side is winning? The answer is still a mystery. At a glance, it looks like a draw. But, but, I see Leon Onichin still has the advantage of directing the match in his favor. I'm not very good at analysis either, Chloe said thinking that as they watched the game. Huh, it's too dreamy. So, who will win? Chloe was silent for a moment. At this rate Leon Onichin will win. She declared. Hmm, whatever. Anyway, I'll say Yuki-sama won't lose to anyone. Definitely always. Kigali strongly asserted. Chloe glanced at Kigali without denying or confirming it. Black Knight Claude said nothing and lowered his raised hand. Claude, who was severely injured from Leon's attack just now, has now recovered. He was also surprised that the black armor was also completely restored. Gently placing her finger on Claude's lips. Chloe shook her head. Like that, she turned his attention to Yuki and Leon's battle. Black Knight Claude said nothing and stood up beside Chloe. Hey, did you see the match? Kigali asked Claude as he stood up. However, Claude just nodded without saying anything. TCH. If you can watch that match, you'll be terrible. Oh, that's okay. Yuki-sama will win in the end. You can just confirm the victory of your new master. After saying a lot of things, Kigali sat down uncomfortably on a rock. Of course, she was still sitting where Chloe could still cover her. The extent of the battle was beyond her ability to perceive, anyway, Kigali didn't have any experience to monitor it. Plus, she was sure Yuki would win so she wasn't interested in watching. Claude, unlike Kigali, was still confused by his current situation. Even so, after being warned by Chloe, he didn't dare reveal it. In fact, his consciousness thanks to Chloe had returned to the way it was when he was still loyal to Leon. Chloe's ability doesn't have to be restored. Its true ability is to reverse time. She reversed when Yuki used override. She can make it not affect the surroundings but only affect a few people. This is the power of the supreme power. Not only does the damage reduce but the adverse condition as well. In other words, even fatigue or death will disappear. Unfortunately, however, resurrecting the Red Knight is not possible. Since Yuki had already used his ability to deprive, it was impossible to interfere. Although its power is absolute, it is not omnipotent. Chloe knows that well. Also, she just received this ability, so she hasn't used its full power yet. Her desire to revive the Red Knight was hard to come by. No one could blame her, but she still looked sadly at the Red Knight. She couldn't do anything because she couldn't act without orders. Chloe sighed and refocused on the match. Leon and Yuki. The battle between them has only just begun. But when she took a closer look, the game turned. Yuki really regretted his wrong impression. He underestimated his opponent. Leon Cromwell, a pre-demon lord. He was once a human, the demon lord who defeated Kigali aka Kazarium. Just because Kigali was so weak. It could be said that he underestimated Leon's strength. Fortunately, thanks to awakening the supreme power, he was still able to fight until now. Surely without it, he would have been defeated long ago. Rather, I don't think he's this strong. He thought as he dodged the flashes of light that continued to shoot at him. He could feel a significant loss of energy when he had to dodge the beams of light. At this rate, it's only a matter of time before he loses. Yuki's ability is focused on taking. It is mainly used to rob the opponent of energy. Thanks to that, he can recover mana when he attacks, so his defense and counterattack can be considered unmatched. But that was in case the opponent wasn't Leon. Leon's attribute is purifying light. This attribute was mainly for the purification of demons. In other words the ability that should have belonged to a hero. Since the one in front of him was a demon lord, Yuki couldn't help but see this irony situation as a silly joke. And opinions don't matter, the ability Yuki received belongs to the Devil series, which means it has a Ma attribute. Every time he attacks, he is purified, which means he is also injured. Most of the energy he stole was also purified. 
Furthermore, he couldn't dodge the opponent's attack and he couldn't help but notice the tremendous amount of damage he took with each impact. Not good, huh? At this rate, I will lose anyway. He was optimistic about his next plan. In the worst case, he could let Chloe in too. However, he wanted to avoid that. With that, it would be difficult for him to push the world into chaos. The reason is very simple. He couldn't compete with the strongest existences like Guy Crimson or Milam Nava. Oh, and Rimuru too. Yuki's intuition saw that the slime he encountered was not normal. Its growth rate was too terrifying and his eyes that saw through everything. That look made him uncomfortable. So he didn't think it was possible to ignore Rimuru. I couldn't believe that Rimuru-san could see right through me. Anyway, I don't think it's dangerous to let him die early. For those people, it would be better to use Chloe. Too strong and one dangerous. Yuki considers Milam to be an easy girl to deal with. So the real problem is Guy and Rimuru. Yuki felt that it was not good for Guy to be Chloe's only opponent, so he would destroy Rimuru first. After that, he would have Chloe and Guy fight, and then destroy them both. Looks like it would be pretty tough fighting Rimuru if he used Chloe now. Such a premonition, so Yuki didn't give orders to Chloe. Now what is he supposed to do? The best part of Chloe's contract was to not let her get in his way. However, with the errand order, it's okay. Chloe is a nice person, if he asks for it, she will probably listen. But asking her to protect Yuki and the others to withdraw from here seems impossible. If Ruminas or Rimuru were with them, it would have been as planned. Yuki sighed, dismissed his hesitation and flipped the trump card. He regretted that he underestimated Leon, after he escaped he had to reconsider. He needs to make a decision soon. Otherwise this match will be lost. Haha <laughs> Leon, sorry, I have despised you. Therefore, I will flip my trump card. Foo, do whatever you want. Just useless. When you laugh, don't say cowardly words anymore, huh? Yuki activated the summoner and ultimate power of Greed King Mammon, a giant magic formation appeared on the ground. Among them were countless corpses of Yuki's subordinates and the Red Knight. Their corpses swelled and turned into lumps of flesh. And then, a terrifying thing emerged from Yuki's magic formation merging with the meat. It roared in rage. In the past, the ancestor of the dragon race, Star King Dragon Veldanava, gave his daughter a dragon as a pet. That dragon had amazing strength, but fell into a trap and was killed by a certain kingdom. When the daughter, her master, evolved, her body became a chaos dragon, filled with deadly power. Unfortunately, instead of lacking a soul, it has crossed the line between good and bad and has become the embodiment of destruction. The story goes that the girl who owned the dragon was upset and sealed the dragon where no one could find it. Even so, in May, miasma leaking from the dragon's body destroyed the place. Naturally, the Freedom Association received a request to investigate that monstrous miasma. Wake up, Chaos Dragon. Your master is me. He intended to use the awakened dragon to defeat the demon lord that was following him. According to the original plan, he would hide when the dragon rebelled. However, it's different now. Right now, using the ultimate power of Greed King Mammon, the master of the mixed dragon was Yuki. The awakened Chaos Dragon released a huge pressure and absorbed the surrounding magic power to create its own power. As an orthodox descendant of the dragon race it grew to over 20 meters long. Right now, the strongest dragon was acting on Yuki's orders. Its roar and its miasma carrying breath spewed out, eroding the rocks, plants, from the slopes to the tops of the hills, all crumbling. This is the power of Chaos Dragon, Chaos. Yuki smiled proudly and Kagali was pale. Although Claude's facial expression couldn't be seen, he believed in his master, Leon. Chloe clenched her fist. If Leon was defeated, she vowed to destroy the Chaos Dragon with her own hands. Ha ha ha, what's up? It's not easy to eat. Now, if you submit, I will gladly accept you as my companion. Do you hear that? Leon scornfully laughed at Yuki's suggestion. He already predicted it would be like this. Furthermore, he did not prevent this summoning either. Because, as I expected, it's a mixed dragon huh? You fool, resurrecting a ghost from the past, do you want to arouse the fury of the dragon princess Milam? Milam will know as soon as I cut off the passage of souls. You're done, Kagurazaka Yuki. I know, you realize and won't let me do as you please. 
Even so, before Milam came, you were already dead, right? Fufu, wanna try it? His face lost all emotion. Yuki ordered the Chaos Dragon. Kill him. Must have been a very strong mixed dragon. Its power is second among dragons and reigns on top as the strongest monster in nature. However, this mindless monster had no consciousness. It is the embodiment of violence and rage. For the former demon lords who hadn't awakened, it would surpass them in pure strength and overwhelming energy levels. However, Leon is a genius, moreover his attribute is light purification. You can consider him as the natural enemy of the mixed dragon. I say again, you underestimate me too much. The reason I let you summon is just to show you the power gap between me and you. Today, right here is hopeless for you. I will show you a part of my power. When Leon spoke, he was enveloped in a dazzling golden aura. Jin Wing, born from pure light appeared behind him. Those wings looked like those of an angel, but they were only light in themselves. And in his right hand, the Willow Fire Holy Sword appeared. It was a Saint Class Longsword, Leon's strongest sword. On the thin and elastic blade is a blue-white fire pattern. Leon holds the golden shield in his left hand and a longsword in his right hand. The armor was as strong as legendary rank. But that defense was combined with Leon's holy aura. In fact, the shield could withstand all Ma-type attacks by having them through purification. Fully armed. Leon looked at Yuki who had just lost his smile then turned to the Chaos Dragon as if he was no longer interested. Later, I will only draw Milam's hostility if I kill you. Therefore, I will send you back to your sleep. Vibrating Holy Spirits. The sacred quadruple barrier imprisoning the devil. A small tetrahedron with four pillars crystallized from spirits grew and, according to Leon's will, trapped the mixed dragon. This is the most powerful holy spirit barrier, surpassing the holy realm. The barrier Leon created carries an eternal effect. It was a sealing spell on par with infinite prison. No, it's even more if the enemy has a ma attribute. If there is this barrier, Leon has a chance to win against Guy as well. Of course, if it was Guy, he would immediately realize how dangerous it was and wouldn't be caught by it. So, it's not an exaggeration, the chance of winning against Guy was one in a thousand. However, if the opponent was a mindless monster, it couldn't resist this skill. The poor mixed dragon writhed in the barrier, but its efforts were futile. Furthermore, when the barrier is formed, it sucks mana from the mixed dragon and uses it to sustain itself. Therefore, the mixed dragon was locked. But it's not like the samsaric barrier Milam erected. No matter how much energy the chaos dragon has, it will dissipate after 100 years. About that, Leon thought that Milam would be mad at him for that. But if he broke the prize and gave it back to Milam it would be fine. It's tiring to piss off Milam, but it's not something to really worry about right now. He changed the setting and it immediately tasted buried in the ground. In the end, the mixed dragon was sealed by Leon in an instant. This couldn't be called a battle. It was just a symbol of Leon's overwhelming power. Now then, is that all your trump card? When it's over, come to us. Leon looked at Yuki and spoke without mercy. Leon was in complete control of the battle and Yuki's chances of winning were now non-existent. But, ah ha ha ha, I never thought the demon lord would be this terrible, to this extent. Actually, I have underestimated that name. Even so, I already took away that dragon's energy, I don't need it anymore. The damage you caused me has already healed. So, should we be serious too? Just like Yuki said, both his hands were wrapped in dragon scales, his body was engulfed in miasma just like the chaotic dragon just now. It was almost like jet black dragon scale armor. Leon reviewed the buried barrier. Win fucking. He shouted at Yuki. The chaos dragon was just a pile of bones, it paled and crumbled. It was the end of a dragon that lost its power. Just like Yuki said, he took it from the core. This, Milam's wrath, just as Leon thought so. Is it time for you to take care of that? Yuki slipped behind Leon with a speed that was unmatched before. And he kicked Leon in the back. Yuki, after depriving the chaos dragon of its power, became a dragon warrior. He is engaged in battle. Don't be arrogant, you bugger. A bright golden light radiated out, dyeing the surroundings a white. In that halo of light that was enough to blind one's eyes, Leon glared angrily at Yuki. His whole body covered in gold and white armor. 
36 pairs of 72 wings once more appeared on his back. They disappeared after he activated the barrier, but now reappeared when he released an infinite divine aura. Angel of Light Leon and Dragon Warrior Yuki The battle was decided in an instant. Leon, boiling with rage, launched attacks at Yuki, not giving him a chance to counterattack. With a stunning stab that reached the speed of light, Leon's fire pillar instantly filled Yuki's whole body with blood. The jet black armor crystallized from the power of the chaotic dragon crumbled. Unable to withstand the sword imbued with the power of purification. The gap of strength is too great, like a child compared to an adult. Dead dog, no way, to this extent. Yuki felt that his consciousness was weakening and was about to disappear. If it stays like this, it's not good. If this continues, he will surely lose. Above all, well, it's almost my turn. Isn't it? No, we haven't lost yet. Yuki gathered his fading consciousness, didn't I say it's useless? You can't even keep up with me. Yuki lost track of Leon who was standing in front of him and his left hand was slashed by Leon's fire pillar. Terrible pain took over Yuki, his ability to control his energy was messed up. He fell and crawled out onto the ground. His amputated arm had stopped bleeding and he looked up at Leon floating above and glanced down at him. The results are too obvious. Yuki misjudged Leon's overwhelming strength. The difference between the power he got from the ancient dragon and the Leon was too great. Just like Leon said, even if he had awakened the ultimate power, it would still be like heaven and earth. It's over. When Leon declared, a sphere-shaped multi-layered magic formation formed with Leon as the center. It radiates radiant light and forms in the blink of an eye. Wither away, the spirit of destruction aka light from the purifying spirit of the 36 types of destruction. Sparkling light emitted from 36 pairs of wings. When the light resonated with the magic formations, they reflected abnormally and the barrier was filled with light. It is a frenzied dance of electromagnetism that destroys everything it touches. This was the most terrifying and large-scale destruction Leon had. The destruction rate of things within the barrier is 100%, this is a skill that cannot be avoided. Yuki was still crawling out on the ground with her amputated arm mercilessly pierced by the light. When the barrier is flooded with light, electricity is generated and the skill ends. This skill generates a higher energy level than disintegration that Hanada used several thousand times. Everything within the barrier is destroyed. And then, in that light-filled barrier, a flash. When the magic array disappears, the light softens. Only one person remained on the ground. But that person doesn't seem happy. So he escaped, huh? He muttered. So, only Leon stood there. Yuki, after learning of Leon's strength, learned of defeat and decided to retreat after having his left arm amputated. At that moment, he gathered all his strength to use thought manipulation for a moment. The perfect chance for him to hide was when Leon was concentrating on building the barrier. Anyway, Yuki deserves praise. His stubbornness is commendable, not giving up until the end of the battle. However, he also ran away. Leon, had promised to cooperate with the other two demon lords and when he thought of Milam's anger, he broke down. So sad, should have been more careful. Looks like the goal of saving Chloe was postponed again because Yuki ran away. This campaign completely failed. It could be said that when Yuki successfully withdrew, he also won the war. Leon won the battle but lost the battle. When Leon thought about the future, there was no sign of victory and he sighed. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Please support me one subscription.